Y'all gonna do the accident then? Are y'all gonna do the accident then? Not a problem, sir. Go ahead. We'll take care of it. Y'all gonna do the accident? You wanna get a little rage? You know I am. So, okay. A dispute between law enforcement agencies and now allegations that a car crash victim had her blood drawn without a warrant being obtained. Records uncovered by our own Dylan Collier show a deputy also asked whether a cavity search could be done on the woman as she was being taken to the hospital. The incident, the latest turmoil involving the Bear County Precinct 2 Constable's Office. It's tonight's Defenders investigation. <laughs> You are looking through the lens of a body camera worn by a Leon Valley Police Corporal February 13th. Can you get one more guy out here? As he handled a morning rush hour crash in the intersection of Bandera Road and Timco West, involving this driver who was taken to a hospital. Hello. Can I have your ID, please? And this driver, 19 year old Madison Weezar, who complained of hip pain but said she did not need to be treated by paramedics. As the corporal prepared to cite Weezar for driving without a valid license, the footage shows Precinct 2 Constable Michelle Barrientes Vela now on scene. Minutes later, one of her deputies is shown rummaging through Weezar's purse. What's going on? Just doing inventory. Okay, yeah, but this is my scene. I don't need inventory of it. The Leon Valley Corporal informed that the Precinct 2 deputies believed the teen driver was under the influence of marijuana. Barrientes Vela then claimed the scene belonged to her agency. Actually, he was first officer on the scene. We have a problem. Okay, so y'all gonna do the accident? Y'all gonna do the accident then? Are y'all gonna do the accident then? Not a problem, sir. Go ahead and we'll take care of it. Y'all gonna do the accident? You wanna get a little rich? You know who I am, So, okay. As Weezar was arrested, the corporal attempted to hand over his notes, then left them at the feet of deputies. There's so many law enforcement agencies that have overlapping jurisdiction in the United States. Agency squabbling, it seems, is not unique, according to constitutional law expert and St. Mary's University law professor Gary Ramey. But what happened next is Weezar, in a sworn statement, said after being taken to University Hospital with a deputy present, a nurse drew her blood, even though no one spoke of a warrant or advised her of her rights. The district clerk's office confirms it has no record of receiving a blood draw affidavit for the crash. Certainly, that should have been done. A blood draw, or a breath test for that matter, is not something that is automatically authorized. Then there's this twist. Records show a deputy asked paramedics if a cavity search could be done on Weezar en route to the hospital. EMS personnel refused to take part, and it appears no search was done. Even though several Leon Valley officers and firefighters confirmed there was never an indication Weezar was under the influence or in possession of marijuana during the crash, Precinct 2 deputies continued to push that narrative, showing up at the fire station and pressuring firefighters on how to word their reports. We tried to get Constable Barrientes Vela's side of what happened, but she did not respond to our request for an on-camera interview. She did confirm via email she was unaware Weezar had written a sworn statement and believes the video clearly shows the Leon Valley officer interfering with her deputies on scene. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Now, Wizar was booked on an unrelated municipal court warrant after her blood was drawn. She does have a previous marijuana arrest, but does not face criminal charges related to this crash. Wizar would not comment for this story. To read about other defenders' investigations into allegations against the Bear County Precinct 2 Constable's Office, just head to KSAT.com and click on this story.